So let's look at this interesting question. Are diamonds forever? Explain your answer based on the following reactions. So we're going to use here our knowledge on free energy to answer this question. So we all know if you have a negative value of free energy, that means it's spontaneous. So we have these two reactions here. Okay. So to determine if diamonds are forever, so that means we need to have a reaction where you have the diamond forming itself into graphite. So as you could see in these two reactions here, both of them are in the reactant side. So if we're going to reverse the reaction, such thing that we have these, So we can cancel them out. Giving you this net reaction. And in doing so, this one becomes a positive value. And giving us a delta G that is negative 3. So since the value of our delta G is negative, so we could say it happens spontaneously. So diamonds is not forever thermodynamically, but if you're going to look at the value, it's not really so big, okay? So if ever this happened, it might take a while, okay? And we can say diamonds are forever kinetically because this happened more than a lifetime. So maybe that's answer the question, okay? Diamonds are forever kinetically, but they're not forever thermodynamically, okay?